Hello there and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Now in between episodes I've done a little bit of tidying, a bit of housekeeping and let's go through them. So first of all I've expanded a wall. I've created another nature reserve over here just to ensure that the ones that might not be going into this area will still get that bonus. Right so that's one done. Yeah we enclose this area up there. Now we've got a lot of hatches and we've, we've, we've got a we have to come up with a solution how to manage that and I've got an idea in mind but we'll get to that in a little bit. Now further towards down or south of our base we've uh, emptied this pool over here of all this water as well and we've pushed it towards that side. I've also given them a priority 4 sweep here so if they've got nothing to do they're gonna hopefully take all those resources from here and fill them in those, in those boxes because um, we might want to use those resources a little bit later. Now moving up in the Treko side of things, we have three more uh, Treklets, little baby Trekos that have hatched and we've got another six eggs in here. On this side we've got two adults that ha also have been shared, so now we have a little bit of reed fiber here. So what we'll do is let's actually wrangle all these Trekos and then we'll bring them over because we have some meal wood in here. Now actually might not be a bad idea to plant a couple more so this farm is almost or the ranch is almost full right temperature wise this is nice and stabilized we're at 21.8 degrees so everything is looking rather good now another bigger update is towards those liquid uh, liquid tanks over here we've emptied well we started emptying this area and cleaning it up a little bit we've queued up a few liquid reservoirs and uh, if that tank is full then we'll move all those liquids, well a little bit at least, into the liquid reservoirs and then eventually we'll enclose this area as well. Okay, now what took us quite a bit of time and a few mess ups was making a, an access shaft through those two ice biomes. So yeah, it's just building diagonally, we eventually made this little access shaft and uh, now we have access to this area. So let's uh, submit a bioscan, let's see what's in here. And uh, what I was thinking, in this episode our plan is to work towards automation. Now if we jump back to the hatches, this has been a major bane because I have to manually look around if there are any eggs like this one here and then sweep them up because I don't want them to become un unhappy. I want them to be happy so that way they can produce more eggs. And yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely not a fun job. So I'd like to start putting down some automation and essentially the way we're gonna manage this is we will build a few incubators. I think one or two per stable should be enough. So we'll have a couple over there and then uh, all the excess eggs will be uh, sent via rails into this little chamber here. And uh, where is all that water? Oh, we're out of water. Okay, so we'll link it up with our water, I suppose. Somewhere somewhere here will be fine. And just like so, disconnect you. Here we go. So that should keep this tank full of water as well. And any of those extra eggs, well, actually all those eggs will get transported here. When they hatch, if it's under submerged underwater, they will drown. And then we we will get some meat, which we can then turn into barbecue. Now, these incubators will have the highest of priorities. We're not going to hook them up into, into power, but we're just going to make sure that incubators are always topped up with eggs, so we are not going to cull the whole herd and make them disappear from the map, so we'll, we'll have to have a bit of a backup plan. So that's that's kind of what we're, what we're aiming for. And as soon as we start getting uh, Treco, uh, sorry, Glossy Treco eggs as well, then we'll redesign this this area and I really want to turn this automated and so they automatically top up different different farm levels as well. Okay, lots to do. Uh, so let's get uh, let's get started. First thing we'd like to do is go up here and I suppose maybe if we can have a couple of these ones, maybe just about here is when or where we will place our metal refinery. Speed up the time a little bit as well. We'll get those get those buildings done. Actually, you probably need a slightly higher priority, don't you? 
Yeah, let's do that. Then we'll get rid of those ice in here. And yeah, we will actually also need a pump underneath because the metal refinery will be requiring some liquids. Oh, we don't have enough granite or a lot. So, okay, we shall... Let's see. Also, let's remove a couple of these and we'll bring the ladders up as well. Okay, now the metal refinery is going to require a lot of power. So it might just put up a temporary, uh, some sort of uh, power brick with a few gold generators. And here we go, May has finally submitted the bioscan. And now, do we have anything interesting here? No, we'll just take some, take some data banks, which will be uh, useful for research later. From what I understand, they've changed up the research a little bit. So before the update, the uh, orbital data collection lab, or the, the last research, the orange one here, used to be collected that you build a... For example, what I used to do uh, was, was build a rocket, put one of those if we can actually find it. Oh, here it is. Build one of those in a rocket, send it out to outer space and leave them there for a few cycles. They And then they'll automatically produce enough research or, well, as long as they have enough food and water up there. And uh, But now it seems they will generate these data banks, which will then be used in the virtual planetarium. So that's going to be interesting to to take a look at that that as well. It shouldn't be too crazy. Just a just an extra step, really. Right. Let's have a look our, around our colony. What's happening? No one's really building those. Oh, because the priority is pretty low. Okay, so that's fine. We just got so many buildings in in the queue. All right, we've got a bit of space in here, so let's queue up all the buildings that we need as well. Here's the metal refinery. It's gonna need some liquid to go in, and then we'll just drop it back in the environment, which uh, eventually will will heat it up and melt everything in here. But we don't care about it too much right now because we're still we're still preserving this area, so it's. Uh, it's fine. Next thing we shall need is power. And uh, because this refiner here consumes 1.2 kilowatts, but those little wires can only transfer one kilowatt over there. So yeah, we're gonna need slightly better wires. So those conductive ones will do. And we're also gonna need a couple. Oh, there isn't enough space here. Actually, there is. If we deconstruct this tile and we'll give you a slightly higher priority as well because i'd like this to be done so we can move on with it now next to this area we are gonna have a couple of bins so whilst people have nothing to do i'd like them to stock them up with different ores that we can then use for refinement all right everything seems to be complete now we've got an automated battery system my threshold is at 88, so once it hits 88, it will turn off those coal generators and it will get kicked back on once it hits 24 or less percent. Now, with the water, we are just going to plumb it from the bottom here. It's going to go up into the metal refinery and now we just have to queue up a couple of tasks. So, for example, let's do 30 copper and that's going to help us or at least start helping us to produce some of the automation or shipping that we're going to need for our ranches. Then we'll also like to make probably a little bit of iron as well and eventually we'll get into making some steel, but for that we need lime. And to make lime, if we go into stations here, we are going to need, sorry, not stations, refinement. We need a rock crusher, so we'll have to find a little bit of space to squeeze it in somewhere. Now, what I'm also noticing, uh, these two, why are you not working? Okay, let's give you two, slightly higher priority. And uh, we'll probably need another battery here, just to help us out a tiny bit. And we'll connect you up like so okay so that should keep us going for a little bit and yeah this area you'll notice maybe like 50 cycles and quite a bit of this area should start heating up as well right now it's minus 15 17 roughly yeah some places are colder some places are warmer but over some time we'll have a massive pool of water in here okay so one step is done Let's check on the trekkers again. Do we have any new ones? No, not yet. But there is another egg here, so let's uh, sweep you up as well. What is your... Let's have a look. Glossy trekklet egg. Uh, we have 54% chance. 
If we grab the other one, what about you? You have 54 as well. Okay. Well, we'll uh, wait and see how it's gonna go. Moving back to base, let's go on the shipping here. Auto sweeper. Oh, we don't have enough refined metal. Now we do, but we're still gonna have to keep producing for uh, quite quite a bit of this. Because there's only... it requires about 200. I'd prefer to use copper though, because iron will be... will be nice and handy for... for our steel production later. So yeah, let's wait for a little bit of copper. Once we do have that, then we will come back and start putting in, in some automation. Okay, we do have a tiny bit of copper. Right now it's saying about 600 kilograms, which will not be enough. However, we can start putting a few things in, and I think we'll start with this ranch over here. So, let's uh, have an auto sweeper over there. Now, auto sweeper is going to pick up anything in this range. Then what's going to happen is we will we would like to feed it into the conveyor loader. Which we shall place right about there. Now, once we have actually all those materials, let's not forget to put a few incubators down as well. And we'll give them a slightly higher priority. Now, with the auto sweeper and conveyor loader, we cannot build them unless we have someone with mechatronics engineering. So, let's have a look over here. Out of all the duplicates that we have, it seems Harold has an interest in operating. Then we also have Nisbet and Otto. Okay, so Otto, perhaps you shall move into... Oh, there's quite a few more things we need. Totally forgot that we need to check how many points they have as well. That's my bad. So Harold, mm, no, there's still a few more. Uh, Nisbet, you only have one skill point. Oh yeah, we just recruited Nisbet actually a few cycles ago. Because she's got interest in ranching and operating, so that will be very handy. Right, unfortunately, it seems, yeah, we're still not going to be able to get all the way up there. We will have to wait for a few more skill points, but I think could skill, uh, skill scrub Harold, actually. He's got two points right now. We need four more. And if we remove ranching from him, then he could be become the mechatronics engineer. Yeah, so let's do that actually. Now that's gonna slow down our ranching, but I'm sure we can move a few things around. Now to reset his uh, skill points, we are gonna have to find the skill scrubber, which is right over here. And I guess we could build it right over there. Let's bring a wire, give it some power. Let's just double check. How much power are you going to take? 480. Oh, that's quite a bit actually. But we're not consuming too much power right now, so it should be fine. We'll also give you a slightly higher priority, so hopefully this is going to be built. And as soon as it's done, we'll uh, skill scrub uh, one of our duplicates and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start building those auto sweepers. Now with the incubators, we would like to make sure that this is always or has always uh, one of those eggs, and you have one stone hatchling egg. And over time, I think we'll probably build another one there as well, but for now, two will be uh, two will be enough, and then we'll set the priorities as well. Right, so we've asked Harold to jump into the skill scrubber, and what seems to be happening, he just gets uh, shaken around for quite some time, just to shake off all those uh, skills that he currently has. And then we'll reassign them. I had a quick look through different duplicates as well. And I think with... Um, we already have Rowan, so he's fine. Otto, we can also skill scrub him and move him into ranching to help us out over there. Uh, with Nisbet, you know what? I think you're going to move towards ranching as well. But for now, let's give you a farmer's hat. Over on the Draco side of things, we have been successful. We've got one of those glossy Draclid eggs Finally. Okay, so let's uh, drop you in in this one there. And okay, so that's fantastic. How long are you going to take incubation? 4%. So quite a few more cycles before we can start setting up the ranches how we actually want them. I think most likely in the next episode we'll, we'll come back to these ranches and redesign a few things. And here we got nice and clean Harold with 5 skill points. So let's reassign them, and he is now our next 
mechatronics engineer we're gonna have to change his priorities a little bit as well harold over here no more farming and you are gonna be doing a bit more a uh, bit more construction actually so let's uh, change that over and auto since you are now helping us out with the ranching as soon as you get scrubbed we'll uh, ask you to do or actually focus focus on that a bit more uh, let's have a look another printable oh we've got some barbecue the other tube supplying digging is actually not bad but for now let's just take some barbecue and right away harold already built our first auto sweeper and we've got thousand copper which is not gonna be enough however we would like to let's see we'll build the chute over here then the conveyor rail actually i lied it is gonna be enough because these bits don't take refined metal so we'll use some golden amalgam and i think I think we'll uh, just go through those doors just like so and they're also gonna need a little bit of power so we'll connect you up right over there we'll do the same up up there as well and couple of auto sweepers conveyor loaders and then the rails let's just bring it through all the way down and let's see if we can set this a slightly higher priority all right, now that we have our first set in, we'll uh, select the conveyor loader. And from this menu, we will uh, set you... Oh, let's try this one more time. Hashling eggs and also stone eggs. So what happens now, he'll pick them up. And if we go into conveyor... Oh, we have one section that's missing. Uh, as soon as this is built, I think we can kind of see the egg there. And here we go. It's just going to move down the rails all the way into the chute where the eggs are gonna wait now once they hatch we will have to actually increase the water what is going on here huh, a lot of this water oh uh, we probably dumped it all here right okay quick change of plan we've got some backup polluted water there let's bring this over and we'll connect you up just like so because yeah this water situation we might not even have enough water for those toilets let's see these are full right now so all that extra water is going to go down okay well let's do just in case a couple more toilets and water sinks and yeah there's definitely something we don't want to happen so let's have it build tubes please now the second thing of automation that we shall do here is with the storage bins we will set them to sedimentary rock with the priority of six and it's allowed for manual use whereas with crater feeders we have the same sedimentary rock slightly higher priority but we've removed the manual use in here so the auto sweeper will be topping this one up and the tubes will just keep keep the storage bins uh up to up to the brim if we if we can here we go let's just double check in here as well sedimentary rock let's put you at six and this one you'll go on seven we'll take off the manual use and now the tubes will bring hopefully the resources here we just need to maybe uh, put some someone on a slightly higher storing priority but yeah the auto sweepers will top it up when when necessary right we should have enough copper but where is our main mechatronics man i think he's gone to pick it up perhaps and direction left please and one more toilet here we go are we sending through water oh of course we are not because we need to send this water out and disconnect you slightly higher priority get this done and hopefully all that water is gonna go up okay there we go let's have a look at where is ah there he is harold's over there finishing up these bits and can you also build this please actually yeah, do the pipes first and then we'll get the rest of rest of these ones done and here we go we've got all the necessary infrastructure in place auto sweepers are doing their job and here we can see all those eggs now being sent to the little drowning box which yeah it's a little sad but yeah it's uh that's how we're gonna automate the production of of meat how many eggs do we have here about six only 
but we have so many hatches up there. So how about, oh, I forgot. We should also add the sage hatches on their eggs at least. What we could do, let's uh, set up and drop those eggs now in here. So we get the hatchling eggs, sage hatchling and stone. Priority of six. And then we'll uh, sweep all these eggs up. Now, there's a lot of meal wood that is ready and we might even have too many in here. But let's just check the priorities. Is anyone having a slightly higher farming? No. Okay, Nisbet, since you are the newest one, why don't you focus on farming? Still have Rowan for ranching. That's okay. Harold, uh, yep, you'll get into that as well. We'll take farming off, so ranching hopefully is the next thing. And Otto, you will have ranching as soon as you level up as well. Okay, looking good. Is anyone... Let's see. Oh, sweep only. Yep, let's do that as well. So they don't start picking up those eggs. Put them in the bin. Bin drops them down and then they'll come back and pick those eggs up again. It's just a endless loop of things. So there we go. We've got one of the tubes. May already dropped a few. And beautiful. Let's just empty this out. There's just way too many hatches here right now. Could also see if any of them... Yep, we could do a stone hatch if we can find the youngest one. Actually, we've got a hatchling here as well. Top up the, uh, that one there. And then how old are you? Six. Okay, we'll pick you from here as well. And then we'll just wait for all of them to kind of pass away. If we notice any eggs, we'll take them out as well. Do you know what? Maybe even just drop them. Yeah. I don't know, we'll figure out what to do with those edges. We'll do want to get rid of them somehow, but uh, we'll keep an eye on that. Now, copper seems to be going up pretty nicely. We've got 7.1 tons already. There's only three left to do, so that is also fantastic. What's going on here? we got five out of six, so let's do one more. Another treklet has or egg has hatched over here so we got a little treklet and we'll move them over to the main main ranch now our water supply seems to be fixed so how about we cut the supply this tank is starting to fill up slowly and once this water goes through i believe that should be enough in store for us and now this is here we go first hatchling went down we've got some meat now and this actually means we should definitely get the electric grill maybe set it up let's choose a different material we'll put you over about there hook you up to power once that gets built we'll have to put some some fridges in here as well maybe it's submerged into co2 until we can come up with a better design for our kitchen area but yeah other than that i think that's pretty much it for this episode we've done everything we wanted to do we've automated our hatches we'll figure out what to do with those loose ones here but also we do have a glossy treco egg now and we are refining metal so yeah thanks a lot for joining in this episode hope you had fun and uh, see you in the next one